you get if you combine witty stand-up, fascinating scientific explorations and big named musicians. One of the most mind-blowing nights of entertainment that you will ever experience. And to tell us all about Cosmic Shambles Live, it's one of the show's comedians. Welcome to the cafe, James McKeese. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, science, comedy, I mean, how music, how, how on earth does it all operate? Well, it's just like one giant variety show of fun. The idea is to make science fun and to like, remind like, families, and, you know, kids and adults, like science isn't this boring thing. You can, and you can mix it with other stuff. You can mix science and comedy. You can mix science and music. Yeah, science is actually really cool. Yeah, but I'm still, I'm still trying to get my head around how you make that a uh, comedy show, though. Well, you just get like stand ups can. Well, I mean, part of the reason we have stand ups is we're really flexible with right. our stuff. And we can be really quick as well. Uh, so you can get stand up comedy on a lot of different sites. And what have you learned doing this show, apart from the beige universe? Well, the beige universe is great because yes. it means, like, you know, our people win. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you know, so I we've like done. that. We've got yeah. that. So how many of you are in the show? Oh, man. There's, uh, well, it varies, but, I mean, you can get up to ten performers going on because you've got you know, the musicians, you've got the scientists, you've got the comedians. And the musicians are really entertaining. You know, people like Nano Girl are coming in. Uh, I think she's doing engineering, uh, which is kind of like her speciality. I get to talk about uh, politics, uh, political science. That's how um, I get roped into it as well. Uh, my biology teacher at high school uh, right now is watching this guy. He, he should not be on that yeah. show. This is the do. wrong man for the show. Yeah. He couldn't do that rat thing and we had to get the guts out of him. I was rat. really squeamish when we had to do the thing. I'm like, it turns out what I found out is I'm not good with blood, uh, which is it's ironic because I was in the bloods. Uh, <laughs> A terrible gang member. <laughs> I, I see how this works now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so you said before the musician Nano Girl, but I think you meant scientist Nano Girl. Don't yes, you? sorry. Yeah, yes, yeah, I no. did. So who are well, the musicians? Well, we're not told. Oh, well, we're not really? told. No, they won't tell us. It's always secret. Oh, that's really? fun. Secret guests, and uh, they've heard. They've heard about New Zealanders. Yeah. Uh, and so they're not letting us in on the secrets. Because the thing with the show is that you, it's travelled around the world, but there's different people who come into it every yeah. country they go to. And high caliber arts, and these things sell out, so, you know, and you get people like Duran Duran, uh, The Cure, Something which I'm sort of... The I'm, Cure? Yeah, that's part of why I'm in the show in New Zealand, so I can hustle into the UK one and go play with yeah. The Cure. Yeah, that would be so cool. Who would, be, who would New Zealand's version of these people be, do you reckon? Dave uh, Dobbin? Yeah, it could be. Yeah. That would be great if it Annie was Dobbin. Jason Annie Kramer. Jason Kerrison, he could rock in there. Jason Kerrison, be a very... He's Lord. always keen. Be a very Lord. Lord. Well, maybe Lord, mm. you know. Oh, well, that makes it exciting for you then, I guess. Yeah. Until you're actually doing the show, you don't really know. Yeah, yeah. Pop up. Maybe it's somebody good and you're not let down now that it's not Lord. You'd be like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> we're so, I feel we're setting a very high precedent here. Yeah. <laughs> Tell you, that's the fun thing about going overseas, though, and then coming back is you like, we think Lord's quite big. And then you go to the States and you realise, oh, Lord is really big. Yeah. Wow. She's you know. a real thing, isn't she? Yeah, yeah. All those guys, and, and Reese Darby and the Concords and Taika, you know, we kind of go, oh, they're doing well. And then you go to the States and you go, oh, my gosh, they're really doing, doing well. Doing well. Really well, you well. are doing well as well, because you just got back to the country last week. You've been in Adelaide? Yep, Adelaide Festival, and then the Perth Festival for that, and Sydney, and going over to a Australia, talking about New Zealand gangs and, and science and that. <laughs> Would you be our most famous Samoan Welsh comedian, do you think? Yes, I like to think I'm the most famous uh, Samoan Welsh comedian on the planet. Yeah, no, no, well, you should own that. Arguably, yeah. arguably. Unless The Rock is half Welsh, in which case I'm stuffed. <laughs> I think we're all half stuffed in that case, yeah. yeah. And this show's going all around New Zealand, which I like. Do you find that as the show progresses in different parts of the country, it changes? Or is it pretty similar, apart from uh, the musicians? I mean, I think it'd be, uh, it would be quite similar. I mean, for us, you know, it's uh, seeing what people are interested in. Um, so I know the scientists are bringing uh, set pieces, mm -hmm. uh, which will be really engaging. The comedians will probably adapt as we go to each city. Will they blow stuff up? Because let's face it, that's I think what we're all interested yeah, in. Yeah, I've been told they're going to blow stuff up. Good. Um, I mean, that's probably why the comedians have to be in separate uh, sets is that we have to, you know, be kept away from the stuff that blows up. So you can't touch that stuff? Actually, I'll tell you something interesting that's different between this this kind of gig and a normal comedy kind of gig. Mm. You know, when we do a comedy gala or something, we'll hang out in the green room and watch each other on TV. But for these kind of shows, you find everyone's just side stage, you know, because you want to see the musicians live and you want to see the stuff blow up. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's Sounds a good sign. If you want to watch it properly, yeah. then it must yeah. be yeah. Oh, good. Yeah, oh, yeah, I want to see stuff blow up. <laughs> <laughs> night after night after night. And, uh, you know, what, what happens for you after this? Because clearly this is a, a great gig. Um, before we answer that, though, how did, how did you get into it? Do they ring you up and say, hey, come? Or do you have to audition? How does it work? Uh, well, uh, Robin Ince, uh, who is uh, the, uh, one of the creators of the show, uh, he's very well known in the UK. Um, and he does a show with a scientist, a physicist called Brian Cox over there. 
Um, and uh, he works with Josie Long. Josie Long's quite a well-known comedian over there and over here, I think, as well. I gig with Josie in a show called right. Political Animal. Uh, and uh, on the back of that, I got a phone call saying, hey, do you want to come up and talk about how politicians and gang members are really similar? Because my whole vibe is opening up politics to people who think that it's overcomplicated. Just simplifying it down and go, hey, politics can be for anyone. Politics can be fun. We I love get the you back. Yeah, it no, sounds cool. really good. Uh, um, okay, cool. Well, look, uh, we'll find out what you're doing another time because I'm sure you'll be back. Uh, yeah. Best of luck with that show. Hey, yeah, thanks thanks sounds great. Up. I can't wait to see stuff blow up. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you, guys. <laughs> Cosmic Shambles Live is for one night only per city, kicking off in Auckland on the 4th, Wellington the 8th, and Christchurch the 10th of April. For all of the details and tickets, go to cosmicshambleslive.com. Okay, now let's find out what Holly's up to with Daryl.